Blogging Blogging for the daily world. What's up, YouTubers? This is the Game Boy bringing you another episode of American Truck Simulator. Now, when we last left off, I think we did a load going to... What was that? I know we ranked up. I'm just trying to remember where did we go. Why do I, why do I always forget? Oh, we took a load to Bakersfield and I had opened up um, Oakland and the other city. That's what it was. And also, we had just ranked up. So, we're just getting into the level 4 stage. Which is pretty good. I mean, we're getting there. Around level level six, maybe level seven, depends on how much money I have. We're going on. We're gonna go ahead on and purchase us a truck. I think we touched based on my loans because I had totally forgot about that. I have the four hundred thousand, the hundred thousand, so I can get up to five hundred thousand if I want, which I'm not. When I do get a truck, I'm most likely just gonna get those two loans, which I think I stated in my last video. So I won't get no more than a hundred fifty thousand dollar loan while it's just me driving. But when I do get ready to upgrade. To be able to drop, put another truck on the road, then I'll consider the 400000 loan. But we'll touch base with that when that time comes. Right now, what we want to do is go to the job market. And my goal now, my goal now is to try to open up other cities. So as I click here, I'm looking for places that maybe it will send me up northern part of California. As much as I would love to drive that Kenworth W900, I have to focus on what's going to be best for when I start my company. So, um, I opened up that city last episode, so now I can actually pull those out of there, but unfortunately they're going in the wrong direction. Um, Oakland, of course, is going in the wrong direction. San Francisco is look like going in the wrong... Oh, hold on. Hold your horses going to Sacramento and I don't have that open in San Rafael huh that might be a, that might be the go to load and it's not that far either it's only 198 miles it expires in 2 hours so looks like I may be okay with that load I'm gonna try going further down and see if something will go up north further yeah, I see something like that, but which one paid the most? I, I didn't catch what that last one paid, but that one will send me through Stockton and San Francisco, but I won't get the other one open, but that will give me two, or I can get, huh, that's 210 miles. What what did the other one pay? Let me go back to that really quick. That was home accessories, 2400 for 100 yeah, I'm still leaning toward that one. Let's see if I can find another one somewhere that will... That one will take me there. Oh, and it's paying a little more. And it's not as heavy. Whoa. <laughs> that is pretty cool. Plows? What the hell? What is it? I don't know what that could be. Like plows? Is that like machinery? But that load can get me and open up two cities. It's paying more and it's light. Not driving the truck I want, but it seemed like it'd be better. I think I might take that one. That one, that one seems interesting. It's it goes farther now. That's something I can consider, but I don't really mind the farness because I think that's the interstate anyway. The interstate traveling is not that bad. I have to make sure I can get that open right there though. I think once I open one of these up here, I think getting Sacramento open will be pretty easy. But for some odd reason, I think Sacramento. I'm thinking Sacramento might have more places coming out with stuff. Well, no, not really. No, I actually no. Okay. Okay. That that might work. That might work. That might work. That might work. Oh, if I can find out what I just had open. Oh, okay. Yeah. I don't know. It's paying 2800 It's 242 miles, which is good because we want XP anyway, but we also want to open up cities. I can do the short load, but you got to think about it. It won't get me a lot of XP's open. Like, I won't get a lot of XP, so therefore, it'll take me a lot longer to um, level up. So, what I think I'm going to do is come up out of here and... Yeah, I think I'm going to come up out of there and that's a light load, so it shouldn't be hard at all. We're going to take that load. I'm going I'm to I'm gamble that one, but I do need to go to my map once I take this load and make sure I can get stopped and open. 
So yeah, let's go do that. We're gonna we're gonna run that one really quick. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're taking that load. Let's see what happens. Let's jump outside. I thought that's what that was. Piles for like a farming. That's why it's so light. That is awesome. Oh my goodness, you can literally take any kind of load you want. Let me cut these mirrors off. I gotta get a picture of that. Nobody won't believe this. I can't make this stuff up. <laughs> picture speaks. This is super light. This is gonna be awesome. This is the lightest load I've taken since I've had this game. And that is like really cool to me. Like, like 100%. So, yeah, let's get my mirror back on. We're gonna get my GPS back up and running. But I actually want it on that. Step inside the truck, fire this baby up, cut my lights on, and we're gonna take this little 6,500 pounds down. It's gonna be like it's not back there. It's gonna be like I'm bobtailing. It's gonna, be, it's gonna feel like I'm bobtailing down, down to um, San Rafael. <laughs> I guess that's what they say. But yeah, this is cool. This is really cool. And look at that sunset. That's that's picture perfect right there. Oh, I wonder can I get my truck to angle it and jump out and get a nice sunset picture. Let me see if I can get that. You can't you can't get that every day. Uh, uh, yeah, you can. I have to go to the actual screenshots. Yeah, it ain't that good of a picture though. Nah, let's get this load over with and see where we're at from after that. Not paying excellent. Like, it's paying good. Don't get me wrong, but... I mean, it could be better, but... The better loads are the more difficult loads, so... This load is gonna be, like I said, it's gonna feel like I'm bobtailing. I'm gonna really have to watch my speed with this. Because this is gonna be pretty cool. I have never had a load this light. This is cool. I ain't think they'd give you loads this light. I guess somebody really needed that for their farmland. Let's go see how bad they need it. We definitely will get it there in time. We got 11 hours to get it there. And according to my information screen, um, I have six hours remaining to get there. Like, not remaining, but at the rate I'm going, it's going to take me like six hours to get there. So, that's cool. Yeah, it's like it's not even back there. Best low ever. <laughs> I might make the video title of that. <laughs> that is too cool. Best load ever. This is a really good load. Yep, this is a good load here. I like this load. This is way too light. I get $2,800 for pulling a load of this light. I mean, come on. And where is my complaint at? Nope, it's not there. <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. And I get two cities open. Oh, and speaking of that. As soon as I get around this curve and can free my hands up, I'm going to hit my map. Make sure I'm going to route myself through this town. I'm not even having it. Yeah, you can route me over here. No, not that way. I don't want to go that way. I want to go this way. Okay, yeah. And then we'll go back out. Yeah, I just want to route through that town. Since I got a little bit, I got a lot of time actually. I want to route through that town and make sure I get that one open. And then we'll go to the final approach to make the delivery. All right, hold on, wait. So, oh no, I didn't do another one, did I? Okay, no, I didn't. So we're jumping off, we're going here, and we're coming back around. Just making one big circle. That way we can open up that area. That'll be cool. Let's get it going. Let's get this in party started. Yeah, I just may make that video title best load ever because I've never, never, never told it to load this light ever. And this is cool. I didn't even think the the game will actually give you loads this light and pay that well, you know. I mean, I guess it's the distance and it's by miles, so I don't know. But I'm all for it. I like a load that's not that heavy and I can drive how I want. Alrighty, let's get out here on the on the interstate and make this thing happen. And we are on our way. As long as I don't hit anyone. Nah, I'm good. I'm good. Yeah, this is cool. I like this can work too. This is not bad. I mean it really isn't. I know I brag on the W nine hundred and I might have my whole fleet that, but nah. 
I'm pretty sure I have some of these because, like I was speaking in one of my videos when I was driving the W900. Um, oh shit, I'm speeding. What is my problem? It's that cruise control. I know better. Anyway, like I was speaking in the W900, um, the nose of it is very long, so it, it makes parking and getting in certain spots a lot more difficult. So it's gonna it's gonna vary based on oh I slowed down just in time. It's gonna vary based on the loads you take. If you're able to do the the good parking or just pull it straight in. That nose is very long, so when you park in certain spots where your nose just won't reach, you just gotta know how to jackknife it in there. Something I'm not worried about right now because I I want that truck in my fleet, and I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the first truck I purchase. Right, I keep driving it or not, which I'm pretty sure I am. But you never know. I don't want to always damage it either trying to back something in or turn a corner or something. Because of hidden folks. Which I don't think I'll do that, but you never know. Anyways, this load here is definitely the best for me. I mean, it's just so light. I wish I could go faster. I really do. But not in California. California, you can't go faster than 55 for some odd reason. I don't think that's cool. I think they should at least give trucks 65. I mean, come on, you're on the interstate. But whatever. We'll get this down there in no time anyway. So it don't matter. I ain't no rush. It's just I would like to see what the truck can do. Wow, whoever owned this truck has a lot of miles on it too. I have to look down at the information board. 67,942 or 43 now. That's how many miles is on this truck. Huh. I wonder how much money I'll have once I get a truck that has that many miles on it. <laughs> Something to think about. That's interesting. How much information is in this game? How much time and effort and detail they put into making this game almost like it's real? That's pretty cool. I really like it. No one it took so long for it to come out. And it was worth the wait. So far, this is my the loads I've taken already it's like what my 11th load maybe maybe 12 11 or 12 loads I've done so far and I don't really have no complaints yet so yeah it's working out I have no complaints I'm good I'm happy uh, let's, I wonder how many XP points it's gonna give me that's what I don't know I don't even know if it was like a high value like they really needed it but it ain't high value, but I don't know if they like really need it, like an urgent delivery or something like that. But I don't know. I guess I get more than when I rank those um, skills up. We'll see. I don't know. Right now, I'm more wanting long distance. And you know, I actually got my long distance skill on last video. And I didn't notice a long distance run. Unless I was too busy looking for one that would just open up more cities for me. That could have been what that was. Oh, and this is where I get off the old muck this. Stop to. Let's go and discover a city, shall we? The load's so light it doesn't hurt at all. All I'm gonna do is make a make a circle around the city and then come back out, hop right back on. Actually I'm not gonna hop right back on, I'll be turning right technically. That's what it looked like anyway. I guess. Yeah, that's what it looked like. I would have been technically turning right. And I just discovered it. I don't even have to go all the way around now. But I'm going to do it just in case it's like a recruiting agency or something over here. Or any other places that might accept deliveries once I do get my truck. So, yeah, I'm going to circle it anyway. I have the time, I think. I hope. <laughs> if I don't, then I'll know next time not to make a mistake like that. And I'm pretty sure this light going to change when I get close to it. What? It didn't? I was able to go through? My... They normally change on me. All right, don't, 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 don't speed, don't speed, don't speed. All right, we'll set the crew control at like 29. We'll just creep right through him. See what we can see. See if there's some stuff to be unlocked to open up. Not yet. Fresh and tasty, 24 hours a day, grocery, grocery store. Is that like a super Walmart? <laughs> uh, it could be. 
That's like the that's like the Super Walmart of the um, American Truck Simulator. You know, no, no, one thing I will say, I'm not sure how far that'll get out and who ears it will hear. But at the red lights here, like for example right here, this light I'm looking at straight ahead should be a turning light. I should get to turn, that turning lane over there should get to turn and then the other traffic go. But that's not how they have it. It's going to turn green and I'm going to have to wait on all the other traffic. If it never stops, I never get to go. And I have to sit through another light, which I think is bogus, you know? Then you have to do stuff like this and force your way out there if you don't want your load late. And I'm just, I'm just touring through the city. Oh, he's gonna hit me! He's gonna hit me! Oh, he almost. <laughs> I was wrong, but it's okay. I think they should make those light turning lights, though. I really do. I don't know how hard that would be just by um by oh, like a liquor store. <laughs> I don't know how hard that would be when you're programming the game or whatever but it would have been really cool if you'd have had your option to go first then the regular traffic go so just a future reference if anybody hit this video that wouldn't be a bad idea keep the traffic flow going you know I think it would have been cool alrighty and we are finishing our journey and I think I'm hopping back off so I'm just gonna stay in this lane yep I made my loop I discovered another city so this is pretty this has been pretty cool my last video my last episode I um discovered two cities this episode I'm discovering two cities if I can keep that going and just not really focus on the high dollar loads which which would be good and bad because technically I want to discover the high dollar loads. Oh no! Oh, I just missed it. Golly! I almost hit the trail and I know if you hit it, it will charge you damage. Dang, I did not want that. Um, but yeah. Uh, shoot, I lost my train of thought. I thought I was going to hit my trailer. Goodness. Oh, I knew it. I discovered me a recruiting agency and that is always good. I haven't started recruiting people or nothing like that yet, but I'm assuming the more you can open those up in rest areas, the better it will be when you get your own truck and start wanting to recruit people to drive those trucks. I can't wait to get to that part. I have no idea how that is, and I am, like, more than excited to do it. It's so sick. I want to put somebody in my truck and just see how much money they make while I'm playing the game and see how much money I'm actually making. Is Just the thought of it is just, like like relief it's like okay i can't wait to do that that's gonna be so cool but anyway that's just me that is just me i i told you guys i've done this i've drove trucks in real life and it's it's fun it's it's really fun i have no problem with driving again right now it's just i put my family first and being here is the key but if i was like a single single man a person who had no one to depend on no kids no none of that yeah my friend i will be out here driving trucks for real and i'll also be driving them on the simulator on my on my downtime because it's just that fun but like i say i still have my class acdl so any day i decide i want to get out there and drive me some trucks i can do it all i have to do is find a company to say come on and that wouldn't be hard because there's a lot of companies out there and they love making money and the more drivers they have, just like what I'm going to try to do with this company, this simulated company, the more drivers I have, the more money I make to reach my primary goal, which is the road to a billion dollar company. So, yeah, it wouldn't be hard for me to do, though. Definitely wouldn't be hard for me to do. To get out there on the road, that is. Not be able to be, oh, am I going through a tow? Oh, this is pretty cool. Huh, interesting. What am I about what city am I about to go through? I'm about to look at that. I'm curious. Okay, clearly I didn't have to pay that. That had to be the guy who owned the truck or whoever owned the truck. They had to pay that fee. But I'm curious of where that told. Let me look at my map really quick. Excuse me for a second. I'm curious. Huh. 
That was in the middle. That's just a simple toe roll. That is really cool. Alright. We can respect that. Sweet. Let's get back going. That's pretty cool, though. They're actually adding the toe rolls and all in there. I've seen that car behind me, so I assume I, I just decided I put my blinker on because they're running to you. Like, they're running to you. This load is so light, man. It's like going up a hill. It's like it's not back down. I'm picking up my speed and getting up to the 50 miles per hour like I want with no struggle. And I definitely have to set my cruise control because if I don't, I'm going to speed. And then I'm going to lose money and I can't have that. A thousand bucks out of 2800 is not going to be good for me. I don't want that. I do want to rank up money-wise as well. As well as open up other cities. But yeah, my thing is opening up cities, getting money, and then I worry more on the XP points of ranking up. But I don't want to take forever to rank up either. So I'm kind of going to I'm kind of going to juggle the XP points and the money together. But I'm trying to open up every city possible. So if I got one going to a city that I haven't been to, I'm probably going to take it. Most likely. I just I want to have as many. Oh, cool! I'm getting up right here. I want to have many openings possible. By the time I buy a truck, so that's my goal. That's one of my goals. I just want to have as many cities as possible. I don't want to have to ride around in my own truck with my own gas to open up cities. Whoa, man, that was close. <laughs> no, don't back up. Don't back up. Oh goodness, this is horrible. I'm gonna have to put my emergency brake on. Okay, I was rolling backwards. It got me sitting on the hill, and I almost rear-ended that van, that um jeep. Interesting. You guys go. I'll pull up when the can't when the camper go. I'll pull up. All right, that is crazy. I don't want to re in. I told you I'm not trying to lose any money here. All right, what we got over here? Nothing. All right, nothing here. All right, let's go. Yeah, that was pretty crucial. Mm, it looks like I'll be making a left here. See, again, we had another light with no turn light. I don't know. I don't know. I still think it should be a turn light to turn left before the other traffic get option that comes up. Because if, if you decide to add a mod, which I probably won't, I'm pretty sure I'm not. But most people may. If you, get to, if you decide to add a mod where you got a lot of traffic, you're going to catch the devil getting out there without hitting something. And you don't want to hit that. Because that's where you go to losing your money at. But yeah, just up here on the right, look like we are delivering this to some little factory inside the city. Must be like a small town that has farms and stuff but city areas as well oh and I think I'm going in here alright and we done made this here let's go ahead on and see what we got now this I might do now you look at that look how easy that backup may be so that to me it's worth the 90 points because I can back that up really easy so this shows a perfect example of why I like to pick and choose and I won't never turn this display off I'm gonna always pick and choose which one I want because I might have had a long load and just tired and say you know what screw the XP y'all park this yourself give me my truck and let me go rest <laughs> or I might get to a point and say nah I'm just gonna park it quick and try to go get another load or I can take this one I see that it's really easy over here side that other trailer was what it looking like and I can get 9 XP so since I know this load wasn't that long didn't quite pay that much and it doesn't seem like it's that hard to park I think I'm gonna go ahead on and take the 9 XP let's give it a shot yeah I think I better do this pretty easy Wait, where was that at? What is that? I didn't even see it. Where are they want me? Did I do it right? Oh my, I didn't even do it right. What am I doing? Got sidetracked one time. Oh man, this is horrible. The thing about driving trucks, always pay attention folks, always. I got sidetracked one time thinking I had everything covered and I didn't do something right. I didn't do something right. I think I pressed enter instead of what I was supposed to press. 
but hopefully I can back it right up on in here. I'm just wasting time, you know? You just gotta pay attention when you do stuff like this. And I wasn't paying attention, I'm not gonna lie. I got sidetracked doing something in my office. Really quick and it sidetracked me. I know now, from now on, when I'm driving, I'm just gonna drive. Cause that actually could've cost me money. Luckily it's just costing me time, unless I hit this fence. Oh man, this is horrible. Ah, uh, all right. No biggie. I'm thinking, where was I supposed to park it? I don't even see the little icon by blinking. But it's cool. It's an easy fix. I just need to focus now. Focus on what I'm doing and do whatever I was gonna do later. Happen to the best of us, though. All right, let's try this again with no interruptions. I was supposed to hit confirm. It's saying proceed to the load. Do you guys see that? So maybe I didn't mess up the first time. I have no idea where it's telling me to unload is there. It's clearly not there. Am I missing something here? Oh wow, maybe we got a glitch in the game. I don't know because I'm clearly confirming and I have no idea where it's telling me to lo unload this at. Yeah, that's weird. It's saying I'm not even there yet. Wow, that's pretty crappy. I think we got a glitch, folks. I don't know. I don't know. That's something, that's something kind of weird there. But it's definitely not letting me park it like that. So maybe I do the com pull forward, maybe? Yeah, it's let me do the pull forward, but it wouldn't let me do the other one. Ain't that something? Did you guys see that? Wow. Wow, that's like a glitch in the game. It wouldn't let me do the other one. Hmm, interesting. Oh, well, I don't know what that was about, but whatever. But it definitely wasn't there. And listen, you guys, listen, y'all, listen, it was something I didn't see. You guys can comment in the video, but I don't know. I think I was spot on, and... I don't think it was nothing I've done. I know I was distracted here for a second, but, I mean, come on. My eyes are not distracted when I'm sitting here clearly looking for a spot to park. So, I don't know what that was about. That was pretty interesting. Could have been a glitch in the game. You never know. It's a new game, so you're definitely going to get a lot of glitches. Maybe we can have this one pointed out and they can fix it later. I don't know. But, we take that one. We'll take what we can get. Now, as long as it didn't crash and freeze, I guess we should be good. But, that's weird. Look at buddy. Waiting on me to drop it, ain't you? Look at him. Got two more tractors ready to load them up, huh? All right, well, we're here. And that's a wrap. We'll kill the engine, put the mercy brake on, kill the engine, and drop the trailer. That was interesting. It didn't let me park it how I wanted, but we're still good. We still got 224 XP. That's good, 200, I mean, $2,813. And that was pretty cool. I got no problem with that. We didn't level up. We just got a little bit more money. Um, and it's like I say, by the time I got out of level four, by the time I got out of level four, which is what I'm on right now, I wanted to have 30 grand. I think I said that in one of my previous videos. And as we can see, $29,173 is what we're going to have at the end of this year load, which is awesome. So technically, by the end of my level four, I may have 40,000. I just may have 40,000. I don't know. Sounds interesting. Sound like a, sound like something to do. Guess we'll have to wait on the other videos to come out and see what happens. So please stick around. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment in below. Comment below if you seen the spot to park that truck and I didn't because I clearly did not. So if you seen it, my mistake. But if not, it must be a glitch in the game, but it's a new game, so that shouldn't be a big deal. I thank you guys for watching. Subscribe if you haven't. And until next time, peace!